Hey guys, this is Yannix and this is my second part how to make a viral TikTok edit and today I will show you how to make this cool, smooth and beautiful edit. So, before I start, don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Now I don't distract you anymore, let's go to After Effects. First of all, like I said in my first part, you need to come up with an idea and if it is hard to you, just remake other people edits, find the edit uh, which you will like and just remake it, it will be a good practice. After you have come up with an idea, you need to create a new composition. To do that, uh, click new composition and repeat my settings except the resolution. A resolution you can put whatever you want, uh, but don't forget to put 60 FPS, it is really important. And for resolution uh, put quarter uh, for preview. And also you can repeat uh, these settings. And press OK. After all these steps you need to add music in After Effects and place uh, the dots where the beats are. I mean uh, where you want the changing of uh, your clips. I hope that you understand me, because it is hard to explain uh, since I'm not a native speaker, but I hope that you understand me. To do that just open uh, your audio and open waveform, put the cursor here and click on the star, like this, 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 and for all these waves. After that you need to add your clip or some movie in After Effects, but in 4K quality it is really important since after uploading video uh, on YouTube, TikTok or Instagram uh, the platform will compress your edit uh, to 1080p quality. So if you don't want to lose a lot of quality, find the scenes in 4K quality. So after you add your clip, uh, you need to find the moments which you want to edit. Uh, I actually did this, but uh, when you will do it, for a cut use combination control shift D. After that you need to make your edit more smoother. To do that uh, select your clips, hold control and select your other clips, like this. And turn on this option, double click and also if you want you can enable motion blur. After that you need to create a mask on your clips, uh, like I did. To do that just select a clip. Press S on the keyboard to scale and change the scale as you want and also create uh, a mask. Just uh, select triangle tool and create a mask and put it as you like. After you did this you need to create mask transition like this. To do that increase the size and create one more frame and press Ctrl Shift D. Then select this frame and press right mouse button, select time and uh, freeze frame. Now your clip won't move. So increase the size as you want and now you need to create uh, a mask. To do that select this uh, frame, select pen tool and also select full for preview, it will be easier to create a mask and just create mask. Now select your clip, press P and put uh, the keyframe for position and drag it to the end and now change the position uh, as you like, to the left or to the right, it doesn't matter and watch what you have. It already looks good, but if you want to change it, uh, to do that just select these keyframes, press F9, uh, open graph settings, uh, also choose position, uh, right mouse button and spread dimension and also uh, open this green uh, graph and change it like this. It also looks nice. After this mask transition you need to add drop shadow on your mask clips. To do that pre-compose it, select the clip, uh, press right mouse button, pre-compose and choose the settings, press OK. And do this for all uh, your mask clips. After you did this open uh, effects and presets and find BCC drop shadow and add to your clip. And now copy my settings. For shadow distance put 0, for shadow intensity put 100, 
for Shadow Softness put uh, 5 and for Gamma put 10. So now select this drop shadow, press Ctrl C, then select the other clip and press Ctrl V. Just copy for all your clips. Now you need to create a scale effect for mask clips. To do that, uh, select the clip, press S on the keyboard and turn uh, off this option. Uh, then click on clock, uh, go one frame ahead and put uh, this value, then go again uh, one frame ahead, put again 100, then again one, then again one frame ahead, uh, but change this value, and then again uh, 100, uh, select all these clips, press F9, oh sorry, keyframes, press F9, and that's it. You have this cool animation. You can copy it for all your clips and of course you can play with it and put it as you like. But I will just copy for all my clips. But uh, when you will copy it, first of all select your next clip, press S and turn uh, off this option. Now I have something like this. It looks very nice. Now for your main clip you need to add some zoom effect and also Twixter. To do that uh, pre-compose it and go to the effects and find Twixter. Add your clip, uh, click on clock at the beginning, go 12 uh, frames ahead and put uh, 35 for example, like this. And also put the cursor at the beginning again. Go to the effects, find as uh, blur curves, and also add to a clip. Uh, click on clock near the disk, and go to the end and put uh, maybe 0 0.8. Uh, press U on the keyboard, select these keys, press F9, open graph settings, and make sure that you edit value speed graph, and just repeat my graph. And that's it, but you need to create shake transition here. To do that, uh, create an adjustment layer, press Ctrl 5D, cut it. And also if you want, you can enable motion blur. Uh, then go to the effects and find Twitch, add to your adjustment layer, uh, open uh, it and enable blur, light and slide. And for amount put 139 and for Seed, uh, sorry, speed, put 39, uh, put the cursor at the beginning of your adjustment layer, uh, click on clock, go to the end and put 0 for these values. Then press U, select the keys, press F9, open graph settings and choose only amount and just repeat my graph. Now you have this cool uh, shake transition. The last thing you need to do is uh, put some uh, mask clips under your character. To do that, uh, open your main clip with your character and select uh, this option, or to brush, and double click. Then just create a mask. To create a mask, just uh, click uh, left mouse button. And to delete it, hold Alt and also left mouse button, like this. You will understand it. So just create mask. And after that, uh, put the cursor at the beginning and click Backspace to render it. Select uh, your clip and for quality put Best and duplicate this clip, press Ctrl D. And uh, on your first clip delete this auto brush. And also uh, select again <laughs> all these clips, press Ctrl C, open your uh, composition. Now uh, press Ctrl V, put again <laughs> these clips, turn off clip with fixture and zooms, put your mask clips between your main clips, like, like this. Oh, sorry, like this. And that's it, but now you need to pre-compose uh, these clips. Open your uh, clip that you turn off, press U and just copy your Twixer and zooms. Press Ctrl C. Now you can delete this uh, clip and press Ctrl V for this clip and for this clip. And that's it. You have this call edit. Of 
course sometimes some problems uh, will appear like this the mask is not good but if i'll put a full for quality everything is fine so check it also if you want you can open youtube and find some good water brush tutorial and watch it and then uh, you will know how to work with it so i hope that this tutorial was useful for you and now you know how to do this cool uh, viral edit with these mask clips and i hope that you uh, understood everything so if this is so don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel thanks for your attention see you soon guys